but huge areas of the world that have never been looked at by archaeology at all. Or if looked at by archaeology, looked at only minimally. It's really important to understand that archaeology is often driven by accidental finds. Ancient structures with astronomical alignments fascinate historians, archaeologists and astronomers alike as they offer a glimpse into the sophisticated understanding of celestial movements by ancient civilizations. These structures, often monumental, not only served religious or cultural purposes but also acted as precise astronomical observatories, so we think. We think it makes more sense, take the geology, take the astronomy, this monument has its origins 12,000 years ago. The majestic pyramids of Giza have stood on the Giza Plateau, near Cairo, Egypt, for millennia, captivating us not just with their monumental architecture, but also with the mysteries of their celestial alignments. These ancient marvels, which include the towering Great Pyramid of Khufu, the Pyramid of Khafre, and the smaller Pyramid of Menkora, along with the enigmatic Great Sphinx and several smaller Queen's Pyramids, represent a pinnacle of ancient engineering and astronomical precision. And that astronomical connection to the stars at that time says to me, we cannot divorce the ancient Egyptians from the Great Pyramid. It's fascinating to think that the Great Pyramid, with its original height of 146.6 meters, held the title of the tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years, constructed from an estimated 2.3 million blocks of stone. What really piques curiosity is the precision with which these pyramids are aligned to the cardinal points of the compass. The Great Pyramid's slight deviation from true north by just 3 60th of a degree is a testament to the ancient Egyptians' advanced knowledge of astronomy. They achieved this using the stars, particularly the circumpolar stars, which they deemed imperishable. Even more intriguing is the Orion correlation theory, which suggests the pyramid's layout mirrors the stars in Orion's belt. This celestial mapping not only connects the earthly to the divine, but also underscores the pharaoh's intended journey to join the gods in the afterlife. The ancient Egyptians' belief in an afterlife where the pharaoh, as a deity, would join the sun god Ra in his daily journey across the sky and through the underworld at night is reflected in the orientation and text of the pyramids. These were not merely tombs, but served as stairways to heaven, ensuring the pharaoh's soul could ascend to the stars. The alignment with Orion's belt, associated with Osiris, the god of the afterlife, rebirth and rejuvenation, further cements the pyramid's role in this divine narrative. That, that is who Osiris is. His image is seen in the sky as the constellation of, of Orion. Drawing a parallel, the ancient Mesoamerican city of Teotihuacan showcases similar astronomical knowledge and architectural grandeur. The main structures at Teotihuacan, notably the Pyramid of the Sun, the Pyramid of the Moon and the Temple of the Feathered Serpent also reflect celestial bodies, echoing the pyramids of Giza's connection with the cosmos. This shared inclination towards understanding and integrating celestial phenomena into architecture highlights a universal human desire to connect with the universe, a theme that transcends time, culture and geography. The stories these ancient structures tell of humanity's quest to understand the cosmos and our place within it continue to fascinate and inspire. Through their enduring legacy, the pyramids of Giza showcase the ancient Egyptians' remarkable achievements in architecture and astronomy. Continuing our journey through ancient marvels that blend architectural genius with celestial precision, let's turn our gaze to Chichen Itza. This UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Yucatan Peninsula is a dazzling testament to the Maya Toltec civilization flourishing from the 7th to the 10th century AD. Among its many wonders, the Temple of Kukulkan, or El Castillo, stands out as a symbol of the Mayans' advanced understanding of astronomy and their calendar system. El Castillo is not just any pyramid, it's a four-sided structure with 91 steps on each side and one additional step at the top, totaling 365 steps. This clever design mirrors the solar year, encapsulating the Mayas' profound connection with time itself. But the marvels don't stop there. During the equinoxes, a play of light and shadow creates the illusion of a serpent slithering down the pyramid, culminating in a stone sculpture of a serpent's head at the base. This phenomenon draws crowds from around the world, eager to witness the ancient Maya's ability to encode astronomical events into their architecture. The descent of this serpent symbolizes the return of Kukulkan, a deity associated with fertility and agriculture. 
This event likely signaled critical times for planting or harvesting, weaving the cosmos directly into the fabric of daily life and spiritual belief. But the pyramid's mysteries include auditory wonders as well. Claps at the base echo in a way that mimics the sacred Quetzal bird's chirp, perhaps intended to evoke the voice of Kukulkan during rituals. Looking beyond Chichen Itza, we find parallels in the ancient world that resonate with its astronomical sophistication. Machu Picchu, perched high in the Peruvian Andes, shares this celestial alignment, though it reflects the Incan mastery over the landscape and the heavens. Here, structures align with solstices, and the Intihuatana stone serves as an astronomical clock, much like El Castillo's alignments mark the equinoxes. Both Chichen Itza and Machu Picchu stand as testaments to their civilization's astronomical knowledge and architectural prowess. They remind us of the universal human desire to understand and integrate the cosmos into our lives, a theme as old as civilization itself. Through their enduring legacy, these ancient sites continue to captivate and inspire, offering glimpses into a time when the sky was a map, a clock, and a canvas to align our creations with the stars. Diving deeper into our exploration of ancient sites that masterfully intertwine architecture with celestial phenomena, let's venture to the Emerald Isle, where Newgrange stands as a preeminent beacon of prehistoric culture. This Neolithic marvel predating Stonehenge and the pyramids of Egypt was constructed around 3200 BC. Its architectural and astronomical precision speaks volumes about the ingenuity of its creators, revealing a sophisticated understanding of the cosmos that challenges our perceptions of ancient societies. At the heart of Newgrange is a massive circular mound sprawling across about an acre with a diameter of approximately 85 meters and a height of 13.5 meters. This structure houses a long passage stretching about 19 meters into the mound, leading to a cruciform chamber. The chamber's corbelled roof, still waterproof after millennia, stands as a testament to the remarkable skill of its builders. Yet the true genius of Newgrange lies in its astronomical alignment. Each year during the winter solstice, sunlight streams through the roof box above the entrance, bathing the inner chamber in light for about 17 minutes. This stunning phenomenon underscores a profound connection with the solar calendar, illuminating the builder's deep astronomical knowledge. The purpose and symbolism behind Newgrange's alignment with the winter solstice have been subjects of fascination. Many believe it symbolized the rebirth of the sun, marking a period of renewal and rejuvenation. This alignment may have also represented a time when the veil between the living and the dead was at its thinnest, facilitating communication with the ancestors or deities. The discovery of human bones and grave goods within suggests that Newgrange served as a sacred space for burial or ancestor worship, playing a significant role in ceremonies related to life, death, and the cycles of nature. Drawing an intriguing parallel, let's consider Gobekli Tepe in present-day Turkey, a site that predates Newgrange by several millennia. It's going to require us to reconsider uh, our whole dating sequence on megalithic sites. Known as the world's oldest temple complex, Gobekli Tepe's massive stone pillars arranged in circles and adorned with intricate carvings suggest an early form of star worship or an attempt to mark significant celestial events. Despite the vast differences in age and cultural background, both Newgrange and Gobekli Tepe exhibit advanced architectural techniques and a keen understanding of astronomical phenomena. Their construction not only served practical or ritualistic purposes, but also symbolized a deeper connection between the earthly realm and the cosmos. The spiritual and ceremonial significance of both sites likely made them focal points for gatherings and rituals, marking them as places where the community could engage with the divine. These ancient structures, through their enduring presence and the mysteries they hold, continue to draw us in, offering a window into the minds of those who built them and a reminder of humanity's eternal fascination with the stars and the natural cycles that govern life on Earth.